Um, okay. <laughs> Sorry, I, I thought that the world's best ballet student could take a joke. Ah, uh, totes. Yeah, I'm an inside laugher. Tara. Hi, Isabel. Um, I can't believe you nabbed a spot as well. How's Ethan? No, wait. Is this the Tara who stole your boyfriend, Tara? That was a really long time ago. Oh, look, I was about to dump him for that scuzzy motocross guy anyway. But still... There's no more rooms. I don't understand the system. <laughs> have arrived. Come nestle under my wing and enjoy my numerous farmyard puns. <laughs> Where shall we start, Rebecca? From the start. Brilliant. But you girls, just watch your fellow fowl and join in as soon as you've picked it up. Right, stop there. Tara, the next performance is tomorrow night. Sorry, could I quickly ask about motivation? Oh, uh, then I have a question about our uh, dressing room allocations. It's just that I grew up on a farm and, and one of our chickens, Miss Speckled Hen, she used to clean herself with dirt, like this. Are you suggesting changes to the choreography? Oh, no, of course not. It's timeless. I was just wondering if my motivation could be sort of like hen hygiene. Off you go. <laughs> Two and three and Tara, chickens may be pea brain, but they still need to dance in time. <laughs> I'm assuming that wasn't part of your hygiene routine. <laughs> Palm hands to the stage, please. When we have a night out, I'm borrowing those arm warmers. Thanks, but I think we all know who wins fashions on the field. Ponyve and Walt, keep the circle tight, ladies. And Ponyve and Walt, and Ponyve and Walt, keep it tight. How long before she has you turfed out? So Jeffrey wouldn't let that happen. Hey, um, Ben! Must you always be naked? What? Tara! Hey, I was hoping that we'd. Are you okay? Uh, yes, hi. I heard about Sammy. I'm really sorry. Last year was, it was a tough year for all of us. Good luck. possibly have Gaga tickets. We have private after party Mardi Gras Gaga tickets. Squeal! <laughs> there you are. 
So you know Lucy, I may scrape in a touch after curfew tomorrow night. Actually, you'll be performing in Les Quatre Arbes and then heading directly to the boarding house. Minor setback, count me in. Well, that was embarrassing. We... Okay, so I'm eternally grateful I scored a fill-in role with the company. But you know what I'd find helpful? One of those training montages you get in movies. You know, where the character starts off hopeless, but they lay a cool soundtrack down. I could fast forward through this year, edit myself getting into the company, becoming a soloist, even a principal. And yes, it sort of means wishing my life away. But if someone offered a magical shortcut, wouldn't I be a masochist not to take it? Down. Our part of it was your ego. Sorry, dust mites. And complete lack of support. Looks like Tara's gone the full cliche and got herself an eating disorder. Shame it hasn't helped drop the kilo. Oh, honey. Don't feel alone. Seriously, I used to stealth puke all over the academy. Seriously, she clogs so many showers. No, no, no. I'm, I'm researching. It's not me. Please. Grace, rule number one, no attitude, just acceptance. You can't force someone out of the denial stage. Wait, you can't? I was so touchy, the girls were terrified to even use words like fat or skinny around me. Remember how I started ordering full cow smoothies? It was so great, Besh. So just know, we're here for you, babe, unconditionally. No, it's... Grace. Lazy in the second act, and I want to reiterate that absolutely no one is to be even a millimetre out of alignment for the gala matinee. Tara, your arabesques are still two inches lower than everybody else. And Grace, Sir Geoffrey has requested that you become familiar with ellipsis. Does, have Does that mean what I think it means? Congrats, babe! I'm coming on tour! Yes. <laughs> then there are our negative patterns. I wouldn't keep Saskia waiting. She gets cranky when you do that. Belle, babe, I got completely screwed to a wise. Can you give us a sec? I need to debrief. Grace, this is uh, Eloise. Eloise's dad just got the all clear. Wasn't he, like, close to death? Yeah, we're all pretty relieved. Oh, hey, um, we, um, we've already checked with Rebecca and she said it's cool if Ellie goes on instead of you. I know it's pathetic, but the season's ending and... Oh, feel free to say no. To time off, you're doing me a favour. Thanks, babe. So anyways, I have put a blanket ban on anything to do with karaoke because you remember what happened last time. Tiger has you with the shoes. I'm burning everywhere, literally everywhere. Yes, the entire core. We're gonna need replacement costumes. That looks yauchy. So blessed I'm not dancing. There's catastrophically messed up and then there's you. You think it was your heat cream? I wouldn't admit that too loudly. Kind of careless leaving it around. <laughs> 